yeah, I just, you know, I just wanted to reach out to those men out there, even women. You know, I, I kind of come, I kind of realized something lately as I've been studying and reading and, uh, you know, just really deep diving into to, to my soul. And I had a mentor say to me, he says, when you look into the mirror, do you admire the person you are today? You know, that got me really thinking, you know, and I look and uh, I also went to a rising up of Kings men's group. And they have four pillars. Uh, it's called faith, family, fitness, and religion. And I think there should be one more on there. And that's called, that's the men mentality, your mentalness, your brain, because it's a battlefield. And if we're not totally seeking and, and know how to battle through the battlefield, we're going to sink into our depression and our lows, into our valleys. Um, then we have peaks and valleys in life. So I have found that when I am my best as a person, I have God first, family second, and fitness. And when I'm working out and going to the gym and eating healthy, it just it's crazy how much better you feel, you're confident. So when you're confident and you feel good and you lean to God, everything aligns with each other. So it's just it's just powerful to really dig deep and look in the mirror and go, do I admire who I am? And if you don't, what are you going to do to change? You know, you have to change. And that's called the battle of the mind. You know, we have our own mind and, and we have to battle our, 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 I talk to them like two birds, one on the run, right, one on the left. You know, one's the devil and one's the, the, uh, is God. And consciousness, you know, and, and just knowing what's right from wrong. And the devil just seeks and destroys us. So, but if you have, if you're working out, eating right, healthy, in a great relationship with God, you can overcome those things a lot easier than not having it. And trust me, I have found that out in the last two months because I hadn't been working out. I hadn't been seeking God. Family was okay. Finances were horrible. And I sunk deep and dove into the Bible, God, and reached down deep in my soul. Um, just been reaching out and getting guidance. You know? So if, if you're really wondering why you struggle and why you're having a hard time, just look in the mirror and go, do I admire myself? Do I admire the person I am today? If you don't, what do you do to change it? You are the one that has to change it. You are the only one that can change that. Nobody else can change that for you. It's your mindset. And when you change your mindset and change your habits, things will change. Things will line away, line up. Trust me, I have just been through that in the last three months. I know it works. It's not easy getting there because it's a battlefield. Our lives, our mindsets is a battlefield. And to, to reign through that battlefield, just like being a soldier in the military, you have to have the the, uh, the gear, the weapons, and our weapons to battle through that battlefield is the word. And I just can't say how much reading the Bible every day has made my life so much better. I've been so much stronger. So I just, I just, uh, I pray for anybody out there, any man, woman out there. I just challenge you to look in the mirror, you know, and just go, am I? Am I, do I admire myself? And then just, you know, look at what you need to focus on and it'll all come together. But I'm telling you, faith, family, and fitness will bring you the strength to battle the battlefield in your mind. God bless. And if you ever need to talk, please reach out to me. I'm, I'm here for you. No, I'm not a perfect person, but God is really uh, working through me. And uh, I just say... Stay strong, stay the journey, don't give up, win the battle.